Welcome back to Realistic Fishing. I'm over here at Skeletor Park. It's mild right now, but there is rain on the way. Rain and cold temperatures. Let's see if we can get anything over here on the little jerk bait. One of my favorite lures right here for shallow water when it's questionable. This little bait is not very intimidating, but it still looks delicious. Hopefully it can get a bite over here at Skeletor Park. Fish. Fish on. What do we got? Skipjack. Pretty big skipjack here. I gotta be careful. I need the forceps. There we go. Nice fish here. We got about a 12 inch skipjack. We're just gonna let him go right away. He's been out of the water for a minute, and he's trying to get away. We're just gonna let him go. Stunned for a second, but he swam away. That's one, let's keep going. Really, why? Why? fish. Another skipjack. Wow, he came off. Here we, here we are, second fish of the day. Another skipjack on the jerkbait. A little bit smaller. He wants to go. This is Dakota Ramsey with RWF Pro Wrestling. Realistic fishing, keeping it realistic. Hey, we get your left bite. Yeah, but that's fine. You guys can have it. Good luck. You didn't catch nothing? I caught two. So we're going to go somewhere else. The reason I didn't put up any resistance and let him have the spot is because there's a little boy there and I feel bad for him. He's with... Anyway, let's go somewhere else. All right, we left Skeletor Park. I'm over here at Deer Poached Park. The log is over that way, but I'm going to try over here at the boat ramp. There are some new logs and big branches out this way. I gotta be careful where I cast. I do not want to lose this to a snag. So we're gonna fish it conservatively. Let's burn it in, see if there's any skipjack over here. Sometimes they're attracted to fast moving baits. I gotta be careful over here. I do not want to get snagged and lose it. Hey, someone left their worms here. 
and they're still alive. Well, it's about to get dark, and I don't think they're coming back for these. Since I got a few more minutes before it gets dark, I think I'm going to rig up a simple float rig and one of these worms I found. Maybe we can get a bite. Alrighty then. I have swapped out... Hey, dog shit. I have swapped out the jerk bait for a float rig. Let's put one of these worms on there. I found him over there at the log. There's a log out there. Hopefully I don't snag the log. There's a bite. Maybe. Got him, fish on. <laughs> Third fish of the day right here. Little tiny red ear sunfish. Don't do it. Can you see the red on the ear right there? Just a little bit. Looks like a bluegill, but it's not. This is Slash Gills from the Juggalo Fishing Posse, and you're watching Realistic Fishing. Keep it. Realistic. Let's keep going. Was that a bite or was that me? That's hard to tell on that one. Got him. Fish on. Another bluegill or a sunfish. This time it's a bluegill. Not very big. Maybe four inches. A little bit larger than that last sunfish. Interesting colors. Cream and purple. I don't know how well the camera can pick that up. Still got my worm. Let's make sure it's hooked on there well. Way out there. There's a nibble. Take it. You know you want it. Got him. Got him good. There we go. Looks like another red ear sunfish. Yeah, this one's a little bit better than that last one. About a five incher here. Look at all that gold and orange. You can barely see. You can barely see the red on that ear, but it is a red ear. Shell cracker. My name's Scott from Fishing with Jesus, and you're watching Realistic Fishing. Keep it realistic. There's a nibble. Got him. <laughs> Skipped him across the top of the water. 
my long sweeping hook set. Another red ear sunfish. They're all pretty small though. Little baby shell cracker. Still got my worm. Let's keep going. Maybe we can find a larger shell cracker out here. That's a big fat maybe. Might be a bit too cold. This water is probably still in the low 50s. It's been warm, but we're right here off the main channel and there's a fish. And this water takes a little longer than it does, you know, in the back of a creek or something like that. There we go, another bluegill. What is this, fish number five? Very similar to that first bluegill I caught. Purple and cream. Come on, let's get one. Something larger than six inches. that a bite? Got him. Doesn't feel like a six inch fish. Feels like another small one. Another red ear. Baby shell crackers. There must be a school of them down there. Look at his mouth. Come on. One more. Just one more. getting dark. It's hard to see my float. I'm Tammy from Texas and you're watching Realistic Fishing. Keep it realistic. Got him. Got him. All right, last fish of the day right here. Pretty small, but we're calling it. Another red ear sunfish. Got a whole bunch of them today. Here it is, last fish of the day. Another small red ear sunfish. All right, it's time to go. And look at that, I still had some worm left. I could probably catch a couple more, but we're tossing it out there for a snack. Let's go. And that's it for today. I did all right over at Skeletor Park. I was catching some skipjack on the jerkbait and I kind of got crowded out of my spot. So I came over here, tried the jerkbait, didn't catch anything. Luckily I found some worms on the ground and was able to round out the day with some bluegill and sunfish. Thanks for watching Realistic Fishing. Keep it realistic.